Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super smelter in the bedrock edition of Minecraft. So anyways, let's get started. So first of all, you're going to put 10 solid blocks anywhere. And now you're going to put a double chest over here, off to the side. With hoppers leading into it. Just like so. So now you're going to want to place 10 furnaces on top of these hoppers, just like that, with hoppers on top of them too. And then also some hoppers onto the side, like that. Okay, so now on this side you're going to place two diagonal blocks like that, and two blocks like that, and one diagonal, just like that on this side and then you're going to want to get a powered rail place that over here and then place rails on all these hoppers now let me just check yeah okay so you're going to place four blocks over here just like that and raise this one up you're going to do the same here but three like that there should be a gap here. I'm going to put a powered rail here with rails over there. Now you're going to do the same on the top, just like that. You're going to want the last one to always be a powered rail. Now you're going to get your redstone torches and place two over here. Now the powered rails are always powered. Now here you're going to place a block get some redstone and place a lever now when you turn this on uh, well I'll show you later but this is gonna activate the super smelter now you're gonna get two minecarts with chests put them over here make sure they're still like not moving and then you're gonna get your redstone torches again and place them on these sides of these blocks over here so now when you put redstone on top of here, what this will do is when you flick this on, it will allow the hoppers to like move the item over here. But when it's off like that, it will lock the hoppers and basically items will not move across them. So then you can manually collect stuff from the furnace or just stop, kind of stop the super smelter. So now you're finished and I'm gonna show you how it works. So you're gonna get some smeltable um, or so anything that you can smelt and some fuel. And now you're gonna place the ore in the, this top chest and the fuel in the bottom. Then you're gonna flick the lever and it should all turn on. Now, because we are using minecarts with chests, each furnace should have the same amount, as you can see here. They're all the same. Now, because this is locked, everything's going to stay in the hoppers. But once we unlock it, it's all going to go into the chest. And you can see already, it's quite fast. <laughs> this is usually as fast as you'll ever need but <laughs> there we go here's a bedrock super smelter anyways i hope you enjoyed this video maybe it helped you in your survival world and i'll see you next time bye